cold storm that will be moving through. But at ahead of it, we had a nice warm up during the middle of the week. In fact, on Wednesday, we hit 70 for the first time in about five months. Yesterday, we climbed all the way up to 73 in Salt Lake City, making it the warmest day we've had so far this year. Hopefully, you took advantage of it because it won't feel anything like that today. This morning, starting out near 30 in places like Elko and Ely, most valleys, though, in the 40s and 50s. 56 currently in Salt Lake City, which is close to where we were yesterday at this time, but some of the readings over southeast Utah are about 10 to 15 degrees higher than they were 24 hours ago. We're off to a, a fairly quiet start, even though the winds are starting to pick up, but we've got fair skies across much of Utah, but uh, the storm is approaching. Leading edge of that is a cold front that will slide across the state today, more than likely through the Wasatch Front by around lunchtime, by around noon. So this morning we're starting out with that wet weather off to the west of us, but during the mid to late morning hours, it fills in over western Utah and then again along the Wasatch Front uh, by around lunchtime, valley rain, mountain snow. It'll move into eastern Utah this evening before things start to taper off a little bit, but we'll get a second piece of that storm moving through later tonight and tomorrow that will continue to bring widespread precipitation. Now, our forecast for today is for it to be mid 50s at ahead of that front in Salt Lake City by around the middle of the day. Earlier this morning, we were in the low 60s. Behind the front, that temperature could drop into the low 40s. In fact, across much of western and uh, central Utah, a lot of the readings listed on the map will be running several degrees lower during the afternoon hours. Initially, uh, we get the strong winds in western Utah that pick up later this morning into the afternoon in the eastern part of the state, and the precipitation will take a, a similar path. It'll gradually make its way from west to east. By later tonight into tomorrow, some of that rain changes over to snow, even in the valleys, and we might even get an inch or so of accumulation on Saturday along parts of the Wasatch Front, a couple inches on the benches, several potentially along the Wasatch Back. We might end up with several inches to a foot in the northern mountains, possibly up to two feet in the cottonwoods with several inches over the higher terrain of central and southern Utah. So that'll make travel difficult over the higher terrain, even down in the valleys. It could be slow going, something else to keep in mind if you're heading to conference. Now in the far south, it looks like you could stay dry, but even so behind that front, morning temperatures in St. George drop all the way into the mid 30s early tomorrow. And then you'll gradually warm up over the weekend, but temperatures really kick into high gear next week back into the 70s by Tuesday you might even climb into the low 80s by next Thursday and northern Utah will have big recovery as well but this this weekend morning temperatures will be in the mid 30s will only peak in the mid 40s in Salt Lake tomorrow afternoon snow showers change back to rain late in the day they'll taper off but it'll become partly cloudy on Sunday or back up into the 50s by Monday and potentially climb all the way up near 70 degrees by the end of this coming week